So ladies and gentlemen, if we are back for another objective, this hopefully should be your final week for the season. If you've got a few more different XPs to go, or SP in fact, then obviously we can grind for a few more because we now have got the bi-weekly objectives. That's going to give you a huge amount of points, which you should be able to do as well as then having the weekly. Um, so these are all pretty standard. Uh, most of them will require Spanish or Liga F, but also at the same time, you will be getting the bi-weekly done here as well. If you need coins in FC25, lootbar.gg has you covered. They are the cheapest trading platform on the game, 8 to 10% cheaper than any others, 8% off if you use the code JT11 at the end at checkout, plus you get 5% extra on coins. With the fastest delivery system going, used by many FC25 creators such as Zorki, Manny Plus, and even Pro Owners. So if you need any coins, head over to lootbar.gg, make sure JT11's in the promo code, and hopefully you enjoy. We then have nothing in live and then nothing new in the milestone. But the main thing why we're here is we have got more manager, player, and also clubs objectives. So let's start with the clubs as that's normally the easiest. We will have the bi-weekly ready again. So we can obviously grind them out for a lovely 200 each. We get 12 different objectives, meaning we get 2,400 in the total here. And then also an extra 100 on top, meaning you get two and a half for just finishing in these. So to finish these, they will be basically the same as the weekly because they are pretty standard. So you have got two club league games and also rush. They're going to be the two different modes that you have to do. We'll show you right now where you need to go for both of them. The leagues matches will require you to have a either join a club or with a friend you can do just two people it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to be in a massive group of 11 you just have to be able to have one other person at a minimum so when you go into play you will then see the league matches which is where you'll be for the club so obviously i've put my club in here just to see what options we've got i haven't actually joined one because Technically, you don't really need to play many of the other modes to get this uh, to get the whole season done if you're just happy with Ultimate Team. Uh, but that's kind of where you'll do all the leagues. And then the rush is just one RB across and you've just got to do everything in there. So for them objectives, if we just have a little run through, you have got to play two matches in league and then six. You've got four rush matches and eight. We then have to assist five in league matches. We then score nine in rush matches. We've then got 15 tackles in league and 25 tackles in, in rush. But then we also have 10 and 15 in league matches to play. 10 and 15 in rush. Score six in league. Score 20 in rush. Eight assists in club. Eight assists in rush. 10 tackles in league. 15, 15 passes in league, and 20 passes in rush. So it's a big amount of objectives today, but they work really, really well. So they should get you absolutely as close to it as possible. Now we do have the player again. We've got the same ones as last week. So I will run through just what you need to do with them. One good thing with the play five matches, as I'll go into the career, um, you've got to play five matches. And it actually does say play in full. Well, Technically, you don't because I was doing this and I was just generally just playing my career with uh, Havertz here. Um, I was trying to do a different objectives, trying to just try and find a quicker way. And honestly, it was just nuts how easy it was just by playing the highlights. So what you want to do for the five matches is once you go through here... It doesn't matter international or club level or even just a generic friendly. When you go into the match day, all you have to do is go to play team highlights and play in as, as Havertz. So it will basically give you like, I think if you're a starter, it gives you like eight to nine different scenarios. If you're a substitute like Havertz is for Arsenal in this playthrough, um, you get basically to like the 70th minute, he'll come on. You'll get like four different attacks and that's it. You're done. And each one of them counts towards a match. And I think roughly it takes around about a minute per one. A minute and 30, depending on how much you're doing. Uh, and that, that's all you've got to do for the five matches. Very, very simple. We then also have the other standard ones. So, for instance, we have got Performer Hattrick. That one is just scoring three goals in one match. You can do that on the highlights as well. Really easy to do, especially if you put it on, like, beginner. There's no actual difficulty that you've got to put it on. The top manager favor rating. So, it's obviously just going 
ahead, uh, reach 100 match uh, manager favor ratings within your team, then you've just got to basically just keep playing the matches. You'll get that done easily. Make sure you put it on beginner or um, amateur if you want it done it really, really quickly, and you should get that in no time. The 10 match objectives is basically when you start the match, it'll say like earn a 6.5 rating, score one goal, uh, four goals, uh, four shots on target, or make two passes. Get them done. You pretty much in the highlights get one per game, 10 matches, minute and a half each. Jobs are good in about 10 minutes. An agent objective, that one I can show you, is if you go into my pro, we will then be able to see my agent here. And basically you will have different uh, kind of requirements here. If you have finished them all so far, one kind of piece of advice with this is maybe keeping a save before you've done it all and don't auto save on that. Once you've finished everything you need to do, back out and keep it at that point again. So you've basically got a save that you can play through, get the rating, get the objective, get the five matches done, and you could just basically not save it and then do it again. Or you could just make a brand new save. It really doesn't matter. But finishing one of them, nice and easy. That gets you another one. The five activities is, again, in my pro. Or at least, in fact, we'll go for the uh, equip to play style. Because that is in personalities. Very, very simple to do with this one. Just simply just change it to one that you've not done before. Um, and that should be it. it. It literally is that. The activities is just here. You've basically just got to pay for five. That, that, that Literally just pay for, for one, two, three, four, five. Easy, absolutely easy for that one. These are the quick XP as well, and and to be honest, the the uh, player one is very very simple to do. It's it's really nice and simple, and then obviously that should be done once we get there. So you can see we've done one activity and we've equipped the play style already. So that would be all of the player career mode. Then we have got the manager career mode. So again, we've got the play five. You can do the same on this. I believe you can do the highlights, which I'll show you in a second. Setting up a training plan, hire a coach and make a tactical change. So the way I do this is by going into the season that I'm currently in. Again, this is just purely for the objectives as well. I don't actually play this career mode so if we go in here we're in with Bournemouth the first one we'll do and we'll show you is the uh, hiring a coach nice and simple with this one again you can just start a brand new uh, kind of uh, save you want to go just so I know someone said to be a bit slower go into squad once you're on the main menu wherever you are come all the way to the left for the tactical preset once you're in there you want to press LB for coach management and you can see we've got the coaches here we're just going to go with a goalkeeping one as it's the last one that I need to put on doesn't matter which one you do click any player or any hire uh, any coach actually and click hire nice and simple for the training plan again it's straight away on squad just keep going across you will see training plan nice and simple with this one and obviously if you've got one already click on anything um, i just whack whatever because like i said this is not necessarily a save of mine i then press rb to go to training plan i'll click on any player and i'll just change that just in case i'm not saying that you need to do both but i've always done both just in case one didn't work i know both of them would work Finally, we have obviously got the lovely, which one do I go to? It is Team She, I believe, uh, for the training plan. Uh, training plan, ma uh, make a tactical tra uh, ch change. So go into the squad, then you want to go into RB for tactics. For this one, press A. All I do is just change it to kick and rush or any other one. We then go to a roll and I will just change that, basically. Change one over, back out, make sure it saves. And that should be everything there. So we will double check just to show you. Um, so if I go back into the hub from here, we then go into the manager and we should have three of the objectives done. Like I said, with the playing five matches as well, you obviously just have to advance to the next match. Um, so I think I'm not quite far in there, but it's, it's basically the same as doing, oh, it's going to go all the way, isn't it? Um, it's basically as also doing the uh, player. So basically when you get the uh, play screen, all you've got to do from there is go ahead and you'll see across and it'll say like play team highlights all you've got to do from that is just the same as before play the highlights get the matches done and there you go all the objectives done manager player career and then clubs and ultimate team hope this helps let me know what level you are